Chapter 11, Lesson 5, Appropriate Measures. You will be able to choose an appropriate measure of central tendency. Sometimes one measure is more appropriate than others to use to summarize a data set. So between mean, median, and mode, mean is most appropriate when the data have no extreme values or outliers. Median is most appropriate when the data do have extreme values and there are no big gaps in the middle of the data. And the mode is most appropriate when the data have many repeated numbers. The table shows the number of metals won by the U.S. Which measure of center best represents the data? Then find the measures of center. So it looks like we do not have any outliers or extreme values. So because of that, I'm going to go straight for mean. There are also no repeated numbers, so mean is our choice. So we're going to choose mean because the data have no extreme values. Now let's go ahead and find the mean. 112 plus 101 plus 97 plus 103, plus 110, divided by five values. And the mean is 104.6. So our answer here is mean, and we're talking about metals, so I'm going to round the mean to 105 metals. Letter B. The table shows the water temperature over several days. Which measure of center best represents the data? Then find the measure of center. Center. So it looks like the numbers are all around the same. No extreme values. However, if you notice, I have the number 82 repeated most of the time. So although there are no extreme values, because I have this number repeated, my measure of center that I'm going to use is the mode. So again this is mode because a number is repeated a lot. So in this case we are using mode and the mode is 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Letter C. The prices of several DVDs are $22.50, $21.95, $25, $21.95, $19.95, $21.95, and $21.50. Which measure of center best represents the data? Justify your selection, then find the measure of center. So here again, the prices are around the same. So I would either use mean or mode. Now I need to see if there are many repeated values. Well, if you look, I do have 2195 repeated several times. So in this case, I would use mode because a number is repeated a lot. And in this case, our answer would be mode and $21.95. Sometimes data sets contain outliers. Outliers are deviations from the majority of the data set. The outlier may affect the measure of center. The table shows average lifespans of some animals. Identify the outlier in the data set. Determine how the outlier affects the mean, median, and mode of the data. Which measure of center best describes the data with and without the outlier? Justify your selection. So here we can clearly see we have a bunch of numbers around each other, and then we have 200. So we have everything under 100 except for this one amount. This would be our outlier, 200. So let's first identify our outlier. Okay, that takes care of the first part. 
Now, determine how the outlier affects the mean, median, and mode. So we are going to find the mean, median, and mode with the outlier, and then again we're going to find it without the outlier. So to find the mean, we add up all the values and divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So with the outlier, add up all the values, divide by 7, and we get a mean of 62.1. Let me go ahead and show that math. 35 plus 30 plus 50 plus 200 plus 30 plus 70 plus 20 divided by 7. And again, that equals, oops, that equals approximately 62.1. To find the median, we have to order the data from least to greatest. So when we do that, we have 30, or I'm sorry, 20 is first, 20, 30, 30, 35. 50, 70, and 200. When we do that, let's go ahead and find the center. 35 is the center, so 35 is the median. And the mode is the number that repeats most often, which in this case is 30. So this is with the outlier. Let's do this again, but this time I want to find out without the outlier. So let's erase these values. Okay, again to find the mean, we're going to remove that 200. When we remove that 200, we only have six numbers we're dealing with. So we're going to add up the numbers and divide by 6. When we do that, we get 39.2 as our mean. Our median, we'll sort the data from least to greatest, but take out that 200. which means our center is in between 30 and 35. So add 30 plus 35, which is 65. Divide by 2, and we get 32.5. So our median is 32.5. And the mode doesn't change. The mode in this case is still 30. Okay, so as we can see, the mode doesn't change. The median changes slightly, but the mean drastically changes. So we found our measures of center. Let's describe how it's affected. So I'm going to write a couple sentences here. Without the outlier, the mean decreased... drastically, and the median decreased slightly. The mode, however, stayed the same. So the measure of center that we want to use is the median. The median best describes the data with and without oops, let's 
change that. Describes the data with and without the outlier because it didn't change by much. There aren't many repeated values, which means we would not use the mode. Also, the mean was affected a lot, which is why we don't use the mean. The prices of some new athletic shoes are shown in the table. Identify the outlier in the data set. Determine how the outlier affects the mean, median, and mode of the data. Tell which measure of center best describes the data with and without the outlier. So we're doing the same thing, only with a different set of data. We've got prices 5195, 4750, 4650, 4850, 5295, 3995, and then we have this larger amount that jumps all the way up to 7895. This 7895 is the outlier. So let's go ahead and identify that. $78.95 is the outlier. Okay. Now let's find the mean, median, and mode with and without the outlier. Let's just set up our information here. Okay. So let's find the mean. To find the mean, we're going to add up all the value and divide by the total amount. 51.95 plus 47.50 plus 46.50 plus 48.50 plus 52.95 plus 78.95 plus 39.95 let's make this a little smaller so it's one line there are seven values so we're going to divide this by seven When we do that calculation, we end up with a mean of 52.33. All right, to find the median, we need to order the data from least to greatest. So we have 39, 46.50, 47.50, 48.50, 51.95, 52.95, 78.95. Now let's find the middle value, or the median. 48.50 is the median. Now, it doesn't appear to have any numbers that repeat, so there is no mode. Now let's repeat this process. But this time, we will remove the outlier, which is 78.95. So let's remove that outlier, which means we now only have six numbers in our data set. To find the mean, we're going to add them up and divide by six this time. 
And when we do that, we get 47.89 as our mean. Our median, again, let's order from least to greatest, but remove that outlier of 78.95. And when we do this, our median is in between these two values. So let's add 47.50 plus 48.50, divide by 2, and we get $48 even. And again, there's still no mode in this data. Nothing repeats, so that remains the same. Now, which measure of center would best describe the data with or without the outlier? Well, since there's no mode, we can't use mode. And mean is affected too greatly. Therefore, we would use the median. So let's jot down some information. Let's first compare with and without the outlier. Without, oops. Oops. What did I do here? There we go. Okay. Without the outlier, the mean decreased a lot. The median decreased slightly, and there is no mode in either. Because of this, we would choose the median, so the median would best describe the data because it wasn't affected too much by the outlier.